characteristics of chemical reactions. Ma'am, we are being taught about chemical reactions in class. I would like to know more about them. Sure. Let's go to the chemistry lab to understand them better. Ginny, do you know what happens during a chemical reaction? Ma'am, during a chemical reaction, a gas may form or a change of color may occur. If two solutions react, they may form an insoluble residue called a precipitate. You are right. Chemical reactions may also result in changes in energy such as absorption or creation of heat or result in changes in state of matter. Ma'am, can you please show me a few examples of such chemical reactions? Sure. A gas may evolve during a chemical reaction if one of the reactants is a liquid or in solution form. Evolution of gas is confirmed by the appearance of effervescence in the liquid. Let me pour dilute hydrochloric acid to a test tube that has calcium carbonate in it. See how calcium carbonate starts to fizz and bubble as we pour the acid? This is effervescence. This happens because carbon dioxide gas is being given off as a result of the chemical reaction. Ma'am, how can we test that this is in fact carbon dioxide gas? To confirm that the gas is carbon dioxide, we will pass it through lime water, which is dilute calcium hydroxide. The lime water will turn milky as the carbon dioxide gas reacts with it. Let's look at another chemical reaction, which results in a change of color. Observe as I heat up lead nitrate strongly in a test tube. The white crystals are turning yellow and a reddish brown gas is formed. When we heat lead nitrate crystals, yellow colored lead monoxide is formed. A reddish brown gas, nitrogen dioxide is also given off. Now let us look at a chemical reaction that results in the formation of a precipitate. Ginny, do you know what a precipitate is? When two chemicals in solution form react and an insoluble substance is formed, it settles down as a precipitate. Absolutely. Now, look at what happens when hydrogen sulfide gas is passed through the blue solution of copper sulfate. Ma'am, a black precipitate is formed. This black precipitate is copper sulfide, which settles at the bottom of the test tube. Thank you for showing me changes that occur during a chemical reaction. You're welcome, Ginny. That was very helpful, ma'am. Bye. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.